In a shocking development, one of the prime witnesses who had testified against a rape accused, Bishop Franco Mulakkal, was mysteriously found dead in Hoshiarpur today. In an interview with Matrabhumi News in July, Father Kuriakos had said that several sisters had issues with Mulakkal and that he was pained by the media slander against the nun. You can see behind me, uh, this is where um, you know he used to live. Um, the police are still inside and they're still conducting their investigation. But the SSP um, from Hoshiarpur said that it doesn't seem like there was foul play involved. Uh, the DSP of Hoshiarpur has told us that, uh, that they are going to go ahead and carry out the post-mortem and rule out any foul play primarily because of the role of the father in the very controversial um, rape case which is against uh, Father Mulakkal, uh, you know, of the nun. Uh, which has been in the headlines for a very long time. In an unprecedented move, the country's premier investigative agency, the CBI, has filed an FIR against one of its own. In fact, the number two in the agency, Special Director Rakesh Asthana. But what is the FIR all about and what is the bribery case that is being mentioned? Okay, so uh, the FIR which was filed on the 15th of October uh, in 2018, this FIR relates to uh, it has arisen out of a complaint filed by a guy called Satish Sana. Now, Satish Sana is a Hyderabad-based businessman. He's been uh, called in by the CBI multiple times to uh, is part of their investigation to the Moin Qureshi case. Now, they claim that this guy paid Moin Qureshi and uh, and therefore he's implicated in all the in the scandals Qureshi is implicated in. What Sana has told the police is that in December he met a man called uh, Manoj Prasad in Dubai, who was an old acquaintance of his. And Prasad told him that he might be able to actually help him uh, get rid of this case which has been filed against him because he knows a senior CBI police officer. And then Prasad uh, and his brother Somesh Prasad uh, supposedly uh, got, uh, got this CBI officer on a phone call while uh, Sana was in the room with them and uh, talked to him about trying to, uh, trying to make Sana's case go away. And essentially for this, uh, Sana had to pay a bribe of rupees 5 crore which was supposed to go to the CBI officer and the CBI officer is supposedly according to uh, the complaint uh, Rakesh Asthana the number two uh, who's currently there. Just days after renowned author Chetan Bhagat had called Ira Trivedi's accusations of sexual harassment false she has now come forward to deny his claims. By posting a screenshot of an email conversation Bhagat had said that it was Ira Trivedi who wanted to kiss him. But refuting this, Trivedi has said that Bhagat has conveniently ignored sharing the full email conversation. She has also said that she would be serving a legal notice to him. Here's what she has to say. Chetan Bhagat responded to my accusations with an email, which I had ended with the salutation, miss you, kiss you. He says that who wants to kiss who? Just because I had ended an email with miss you, kiss you, does that mean that I wanted to kiss him? No because Mr. Chetan Bhagat, in the very next email, which he did not release, admits that kiss you, miss you, is a figure of speech. It was a day of protest in the national capital today, with many petrol pumps remaining shut, as well as a strike called by auto rickshaw and taxi unions, which crippled the traffic movement in the city. Both these protests were against certain policies of the Delhi government with the petrol dealers protesting against the government's refusal to reduce VAT on fuel, while the cab and auto operators protested against the government's policies on Ola and Uber. Our reporter Anthony was on the ground to cover these protests. Let's see what he has to say. Sir, petrol pump in Delhi, today Ola Uber drivers are in Hartal. Nitish Ji, tell us what is the problem. Sir, we can say the rate of the rate. The other problem is that CNG के रेट की है कंपनी के रेट में प्रॉब्लम यह होती है कि अगर कंपनी कस्टमर से 200 300 कुछ भी चार्ज कर रही है उसमें उनका कहना है कि हम 30% काटते हैं बल्कि वो 30 नहीं 70% 60% के समथिंग काटते हैं और अगर इन केस गाड़ियां कम है तो आप लोग देखते होंगे कस्टमर देखते होंगे कि उस टाइम रेट बढ़ जाते हैं रेट बढ़ जाते हैं लेकिन फिर भी हमें वही ₹4 ₹5 किलोमीटर मिलता है हमें वो रेट बढ़े हुए नहीं मिलते वो कंपनियों के पास ही जाते हैं among the more than 60 people who died in the Amritsar train tragedy on Friday was Dalbir Singh, the beloved Raman performer who performed at the local Ramlila event barely 24 hours before his death. Here is the tragic story of the performer who has been credited with saving many lives before he lost his own.
We got to know from a lot of people who were present at the tracks that Dalbir actually tried to save the lives of many people before he passed away. I have one such man with me. Uh, Banwari ji, आप हमें बताइए आप थे वहाँ पर Dalbir ji क्या कर रहे थे? Dalbir ji लेनों के बीच में भाग रहे थे और भागते भागते सभी जनता को उन्होंने कहा है कि आप पीछे हटो ट्रेन आने वाली है ट्रेन आ रही है और इतनी रफ्तार से ट्रेन आई कि वो सारी जनता इधर उधर हुई और दरवीर जाते जाते अपनी जान गंवा बैठे परंतु सभी जनता को उसने बचा लिया एंड फॉर ऑल दी अदर अपडेट्स फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द क्विंट